In tonight's female focus, cutting your risk for developing lung cancer. It is not as simple as just not smoking. In fact, a new report shows that women who don't smoke ever are much more likely to develop the disease than non-smoking men. It is a fact that one Central Ohio woman learned firsthand. Diane Winbigler is able to walk away from lung cancer. Three years ago, doctors found a spot on her lungs when she had a routine x-ray. Then her lesion changed, so doctors operated and removed it. It was lung cancer. I didn't smoke. Why me? Because you, you link lung cancer with smoking. And so I was, I was very surprised. When it comes to deadly cancers. Lung cancer is the number one killer of women. Most people think of breast cancer, but lung cancer is the number one killer. Shelly Kaiser of the American Lung Association says smoking is the primary way that women get lung cancer, but not the only way. A study from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston finds that women who've never smoked are three times as likely to get lung cancer as men who've never smoked. And we're not exactly sure why that is. Dr. Philip Keebler of Riverside Hospital suspects that women's heightened risk risk lies with their genes or hormones. It is possible that women's hormones may affect uh, the metabolism and activity of carcinogens and make them more active. He says women also may be at more risk from secondhand smoke. So he's taking part in a national study sending patients blood and tumor samples for analysis. He hopes what researchers learn will spur development of new drugs to save lives. We actually could treat these patients differently if we understood a lot more about the genetics, which makes perhaps them different than other patients. Diane, who was part of a clinical trial, agrees. I just think it's vital at this point. Now, it is estimated that about 25,000 women who do not smoke develop lung cancer every year in our country. November, by the way, is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and we have posted more information. Great local resource for you, the American Lung Association here in Central Ohio, on our website. Just go to 10tv.com slash female focus. Hopefully, every year, fewer and fewer people will take up the habit. But you know what? But, but the story was all about them, that the smoking does not affect women at all, so we've got to get to the heart of the problem and find out why we're more susceptible to developing it, even if we never smoke, so hopefully. Chris Bradley